But I'll probably do like double lightning, uh, this and adventuring, I guess. I don't need a team for second half, so let's put Bronya there. No, Yenxing. Like, what are we testing? Tankiness? Do you want to gamble with the salad or just do my normal buff? If you have three spade, you have the highest buff. Feeling lucky. Uh, spade? Did I get it? Is that the highest buff? Highest is 60%. It's not this, right? Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's the highest buff, right? That's 60% defense for three turns. How much is the shield right now? It's like 1.5k, so it's a 3k shield with double. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. That's a funny buff though. I don't think I'll realistically use them. I'll just click it once, maybe. Like the shield already expired on, on Acheron. I don't know. I don't think 4k defense is enough. Maybe I jump up to 5k. Or maybe already like diminishing scaling. With E1, you won't have to scale anymore. Watch your head. Or maybe I'll take it off. How many turns did my adventure rangers take? Oh, it's his turn again. Hey guys, it's my turn again. <laughs> hey guys, it's my turn. My turn. Oh, 16k auto. Oh, no, that's, that's pretty decent damage for auto attack. How much speed on Adventurine? 180. 4,000 defense, 180 speed, 72 crit rate, 194 crit damage. Is your Adventurine E1? Do I need E1? Why so much speed? I don't have any other gear. I, I don't have any other gear. I literally have nothing else. So I just put like 411 speed gear on him. <laughs> I don't have anything else. He needs defense, crit, and speed or something, right? So that's all I have. How much is my current stat, though? So he's slowed right now? I need to wait this debuff out, but he's slowed. But he still has 167 speed, so it's fine. He doesn't need speed? Yeah, but like, you know, SP positive. <laughs> he doesn't need speed is just an excuse for people that can't build both speed, defense, and crit. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> OM. Does have all stats? It's that easy. Does it build everything? Is that easy? Pretty much. I want a bigger shield. <laughs> Is 30 crit rate enough for him? Yeah, he gets plus 48 crit rate, right? That's gonna be 78, right? So like for my adventuring, it's 4076 defense, 180 speed, 24.4 crit rate, plus 48, so 72.4 crit rate, and plus 40 from the light cone, so that'll be 194 crit damage, right? If I change the speed boots to like the defense boots, it's 5000 defense and I'm still 155 speed anyways. It's not that hard, you know? Let's just zoom. Just zoom, right? Let's just, just zoom. 155 speed without speed boots? Yeah, I mean, bro, just, just go fast. You just go faster. So which build do you want me to run? Do you want me to run 5,000 defense or 180 speed? Neither? What do you mean? Oh, neither. Okay, I got what you mean. So I changed this into imaginary damage. So it'll be defense, speed, crit rate, crit damage, and imaginary damage. Is this fast enough for you? <laughs> Try damage? Yeah, the damage isn't high. It's like 10, 12k. It's crit damage, defense, imaginary damage, and defense, right? I can probably change this. I don't fucking need 10 speed here, maybe. 
And I can change this to like something with more crit. So like this. And I don't know if I have a defense crit here. Like that. 135 speed, 4000 defense, 36, 180, I guess. And 53. I don't think Adventurine does high damage on his own, but sure. You want me to put him there alone? His shield isn't gonna survive, though. Alright, gacha! 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 Yo, let's go! <laughs> now his shield survives! Shield survive, Pog! See, the, the two soldiers gonna break my shield anyway. That's like 10k, right? With the shield on. And 13k? Like, I don't think Adventurine is really gonna do super high damage anyway, unless you fucking turbo buff it. He was just, just supposed to be, like, a tank that can do some damage, right? Take it off. Watch your head. Hyper carry Adventurine? Nah. He's not a bruiser. He's not a bruiser. What I want is just to run the other build on him. I think it's more fun. Plus, it's funnier to see the stat that way, right? And I don't have to remove any of my teammates' gear for him. Right, so 4,000 defense with ER rope? Like this? 4,000 defense with ER rope? And follow-up team here? This is like damage scam, no? Feeling lucky. Uh, I'll take it. Existence is unity. Go game. So it's just for like the spam. Best position for adventuring in battle. If you want to put him in the middle so he gets AOD'd by enemy, that also works. Watch your head. Adventury not in the middle for max stacks? True. Not in the middle. Take it off. Wait, Opus gets you two stack? <laughs> Wait, oh yeah, I guess her I guess both of her skill and trigger numby, I guess. Topus eats you two stack. What the hell? Oh, there's a maximum of stack you can get from teammate though, no? It's three per of his turn, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna zero cycle it. This is double single target. Give it a bit. <laughs> three per follow up on his turns, reasons to go faster. Yeah, but like the other two are hunt character, right? So, you know. 15k auto is quite big. 42k? Woo, big damage. I mean, that's probably because of Topaz Light Cone as well, though. Alright. Woo! Beat him up ratio. That was ER Rope Adventuring, right? That was 4,000 offense, 144 speed, and crit rate, crit damage, right? But I don't know. I feel like if I want to really meme it, I'm gonna run the speed one. I think that's more fun, and that should be fine, right? I like the speed better, because he can only get a certain amount, right? He get three stack maximum if your teammate does follow up, right? I want to zoom zoom. Now, do I, do I get E1? Do it for maximum skill point. Um, um. I'll do a couple rolls. I'll do a couple rolls. We'll see. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ten rolls. Gotcha. Gamba time again. Okay, that's done, right? At this point, get E2? No, E1. I'm following the rule. Support gets E1. DPS gets E0, right? I'm following the rule. We ignore Silver Wolf. We ignore this one as well. Yeah, I'm following the rule just fine, okay? Run this again to see the see the difference. <laughs> Adventure in this DPS? I don't think so. I feel like even if you buff his damage a lot, unless you have Eidolon like Fushren, he doesn't do a lot of damage. Like, you need, like, what, 150 damage bonus? That's why his Edo his last Eidolon gives him exactly 150 damage bonus, right? Watch your head. Wow, 30k? That's pretty comfy damage. Take it off. 
Yeah, like, he doesn't do that much damage. He just does some damage as a tank. While being really, really, really fast. He's a better DPS than Topaz? Yeah, Topaz is buffing in this team, I guess. Ideally, I want E1 Topaz, because E1 Topaz with her light cone is 3 unremovable debuff for Doctor Ratio. Topaz is now support, not DPS. Sadie. Support hub character. No, guys, look, she did damage! She did 65k! Guys, look, she did 80k! Topaz is doing damage! Topaz, don't fucking die! Oh, God! Topaz! Oh, not even close! Not even close! Not even close! Ah! Topaz! Topaz! Topaz, don't die! Don't die, Topaz! Don't die! Monka! 69 health! Monka! Monka help! Monka help! Monka help! 4,000 defense isn't enough! I need 5,000! We tired of playing with your ass! Say goodnight, motherfuckers! Okay, thank you, Ratio, for fucking killing that guy from 40% health. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Ratio, for nuking that fucking dinosaur. What the hell? My adventure doesn't use skill because he's fucking fast. Oh, no. He doesn't use skill. All right. That's enough for the recording. I don't want to destroy my editor. Okay, honestly, if Topaz rerun, I'll get E1 Topaz. At this point, Topaz doesn't do damage. Show your ratio build. It's normal stat. 3,000 attack, 142, 84, 174. So with his traces it's 99.3 crit rate normal normal and he can't crit sometime i know i know